today is the right day to come. <laughs> last last weekend was killer on Saturday. Oh, I bet. Let's see, yeah, there we go. It was like 108, right? Oh yeah, like yeah. And uh, we were at um um since we were closed for NASCAR because they uh, use our track as like a parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, we were at Spring Mountain Raceway uh, using that for Saturday. It was like 100, 112, 115 out there. It was gnarly. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't have canopies and stuff out there, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Baking on the track. Oh yeah. Is it better for me to wear sunglasses or not? Um, I usually recommend just kind of like uh, if you use them normally while driving, I recommend them then. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. And then, there we go. And I got that uh, recording there. Tate him through Benjamin. Last name is Plum. Yeah. Gotcha, man. We got six laps in the GT3. First, I do off the other reflection. And then um, if there's a if they uh, like come loose or anything, there's a little kind of like a, there's like a cubby hole thing Sweet. here. Yeah, they should be safe down there. And then, um, so the way I'll be kind of helping you out around the track, um, so the, those cones that they were mentioning, um, the orange ones are gonna be the first ones to reach. Um, that's where we're gonna begin the brake right there. Okay. So I'll let you know if you need more or less brake pressure, but first few laps where you're feeling it out, usually it's like a 50 to 60%. But if you're moving all the way good down the straightaway, it's like a hard initial, like 80% almost there. Okay. Um, so it's braking firm all the way to the single green cone that's on the outside edge of the track. Um, I like to call that one your turning point right there. Because um, you want to get the, the, the nose of the car to that and then begin turning in all the way down to the apex those two green fields on the inside. Okay. Um, that's actually the most important part is just trying to get as close as you can to those. Okay. Um, once you reach that, that's where you're going to wind the wheel back out and begin accelerating. Okay. Um, so it's slow into the corner and accelerating fast out, but just nice. Right, so it's always transferring, follow. right? The transfer from the braking to the back of the acceleration. Exactly. And yeah. it just kind of happens like mid-corner right there. Yeah. Um, and then um, I'll let you know about traffic too as we're rolling. I'll let you know if we're safe to pass people too. Okay. Um, if we are doing passing, I'm just gonna have my hand on the wheel a little bit there too, and you'll just keep your hand there too. I'm not fully grabbing it from you. Okay, great. Sometimes people Jesus take the wheel and I like yep. look over oh, and yeah. I go, <laughs> ah, <I'm not. laughs> right? <laughs> like, driving from the passenger seat now. <laughs> um, so the only other thing for you is always just kind of keeping your eyes up, just trying to look where you want to go with it. Right. Um, I'll throw out some reminders for that too as we're rolling. Um, and then uh, paddle shifters, of course, as you know, right ones for up shifting, left ones for back down. Um, they move with the wheel in the Porsche. They always be near your hands are. And like I was saying earlier, just kind of watch out for the, the wipers and the right. lights. Um, it, this one gets pulled on mostly for the downshifting. If you click that instead, um, I'll, I'll let you know. Just try pulling one more time on it there too. Okay. Um, yeah, other than that, recommend like first lap or two, you know, just fill it out. Big, big thing is just memorization, okay. where to go with there. Um, but did you have any questions for me though before you roll, man? No. No? Just have a good time though, right? All nice. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, just keep holding the brake. I'll throw you a manual. There you go. Uh, you're clear of traffic. We're going to cruise out straight. And we're going to make a left to cruise up to the entrance there. And then through the pits, feel free to try out the brake pedal a few times if you want to kind of feel that guy out. Oh, yeah, that grabs smart. Like yeah. That. Yeah, first, first a little kind of dead, but then they kind of grab pretty good there. The thing you'll love in this car is the way the steering feels once you get going. That's my favorite part. Let's see. Uh, you're good down that side out. We're gonna go kind of near that little blue cone, just kind of like putting the, the nose of the car a little bit past the wall. I'm just gonna double check for any other cars. Let's see, uh, yeah, you're good to go, man, you're clear. And we're just gonna hug the left side of the track, right side of this blue line right here. Yeah, perfect. Uh, just one upshift to second gear here, and then just one more up to third gear is all. So that single green, that one's your turning point right there. Okay. We're gonna connect that to the apex on the right, so a little bit of power to it. Last green marker is your exit cone. We're just gonna end up at that one. There you go. And feel free to fail out the power a little bit. We'll just stay left side down here. And it's just breaking right here. We'll hug in that outside edge tight. It's one downshift to third. Easing it in as tight as you can to that two green. We're gonna end up at the left side to that green exit marker. And it's just staying to the left here is all. It's breaking right here. We're gonna stay tight left. Yeah, we're gonna connect that to the apex on the right right there. As tight as you can, little bit of power to it. And we're gonna stay tight to the right side. Little bit of break here. We're gonna turn in right now. You got it, little bit of power. Here it's to the center and then back to the left, just like that. Okay. This one's a late turn in, so just waiting a long time for it. Right about there, perfect. Tight as you can. Here it's out to the center of the track and then accelerating over to the right. Yeah, perfect. And then just a light brake, turning it in now, then back into the power. And it's braking to the outside edge, waiting to turn, connecting it tight as you can, and just ending up at the left side, rolling into the power, to full power. I'm just gotta let it rev up a little bit more. Okay, all right, park it's all good. So <laughs> it's all good. And then braking right here a little harder initially at this speed. It's one down to third. 
easing it in. Break, break, break. She's gonna push out a little bit on the outside. No worries. Okay. Just came in a little hot. Now when you break up, even a little bit harder initially. Kind okay. of around that 80% on that guy gotcha. there. Yeah. And then we're just gonna stay tight left. Look into the apex on your right. Okay. And then easing it in. Back onto the power a little bit. And then rolling into the power right side. And now breaking straight tight as you can back into the power coming out wide and powering now to the left just like that now braking waiting to turn here waiting easing it in clipping the apex coming out wide and back over to the right yeah perfect little bit of brake here and then back into the power then braking to the outside waiting to turn easing it in tight as you can as you come out now accelerating here there you go we're gonna stay left side so yeah let it rev let it rev uh it's all good no worries uh, but yeah about that 80 percent right here so firm brake initially almost attacking the brake right here it's one down to third easing off the brake tight as you can see i'll kind of help this stand. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna stay left full power let's go get the gt2 down there it's breaking right here still looking where you want to go to the apex ease it in tight as you can Feeding in the power to the right side. And now braking straight. Easing it in, riding the apex. Opening up your steering, come out wide. You got it, we're gonna wait for those hazards to clip on. Let's see, looks like he's looking for the Lambo. But we'll pass the Lambo on the inside on the right. He's gonna be next to you mid corner, so we're just gonna be a little careful through here is all. You can go ahead and accelerate. He's behind you, sir, you're clear. So it's just a touch of the brake, turning it in and back into the power. Staying on that outside edge, that turn in marker. You got it, tight as you can. Ending up at the left outside edge. We'll stay behind him in his mirrors. He's probably looking for that Ferrari. Yeah, go ahead and pass the Ferrari. One up to fourth, and just staying in the power. Now braking here hard now again. You're clear, one down to third. Eyes up right. Now get us all the way down there. And we're gonna end up at the left side, just like he's doing full power. We're gonna stay right behind him. Now staying to the right. Okay. Now braking straight. Easing it in tight as you can, maintaining. Coming out wide. He's letting you pass right side. Go for it. And then braking right here. And you are clear now. It's going to feel sharper, so we're going to add a little bit more steering here. Now we're going to let her come out wide. You're clear. Back to the right. A light brake. Turning it in now. Back into the power. Now braking here to the outside edge. Waiting tight as you can little bit of power ending up at that left side here just letting it rev up here waiting for it waiting for it right about there perfect just keeping your eyes up here then attacking the brake firm one down constant pressure easing off of it adding a little bit more right there she's telling us she's got to brake a little harder next time okay, is all. Okay. So now it's breaking right here pushing the front end down with the brakes and now easing off of them as you turn in and then feeding in the power to the right side here. And now braking straight. Easing and excellent on this one. Now eyes up down the track. Now power. Once you get over, stay in it, stay in it. Now braking right here. Waiting to turn. Easing right there. How are you feeling so far? Alright, this is fun. There you go. Perfect, man. We're gonna bring it back to the right side here again. And then a light brake, turning it in and back into the power. Now braking right here, waiting to turn. Easing it a little bit of throttle mid corner, keep her tight, and then just roll into it as you come out. Yeah, perfect corner. And then just one up shift here. So try pushing the front of the car a little bit more down here with the brakes. So now braking your heart, now pushing the front end into the ground. And then easing off the brake, a little bit of throttle mid corner, keep it tight, rolling into the power. Yeah, much better there. And then brake it right here. It's eyes up to the right. Ease it in there tight as you can. And feeding in the power right. And now braking straight firm. Tight left, getting as tight as you can. Back to the left side here, one last time as well. And then it's braking right here. And that was actually the last one right there, too bad. Um, so we're actually gonna be exiting up here. I'll kind of show you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got just kind of a blind little hump sometimes. So sure. uh, we'll just follow him back in here too. So what do you think though? That was fun. I have to come back. Passed everybody out there, so <laughs> yeah. doing something right, right? Nice, nice. <laughs> then we'll cruise on down this way here too. Yeah, no, that's the addiction of it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man, of course, of course. Yeah, I would say uh, uh, one thing that would, uh, um, you probably know us too, is just uh, 
Once you got a little more speed, just that little bit harder initial brake pressure. Yeah. Um, the concept behind it, what it is, is just uh, especially with these cars, you have the weight way behind the rear axle, so you got to kind of like push that the right, body on the front tires. There, right? Exactly. And then uh, we're gonna park Go on right the right up. side of the other GT3 right there. Yeah, and, and just what it does, it just kind of gives you a little more grip on the front end by kind of pushing those tires on the ground a little bit more. Yeah, right the thing is, I didn't see like what the speeds were, so it's like, how uh, fast you're actually yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> like, how hard do I need to re Right, re you can release the brake here too. There's just a wheel shock that's going to roll up onto a little bit. I think uh, I think we're right before, I'm just going to throw it back in. Uh, just kind of screwed up just like a little bit is all. There's a little marker, you're going to feel the front end like barely. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Perfect. That way I can just put it neutral and let the brakes cool off. There we go. And you can release the brake now too. She's all parked there. Sweet Good time man. though? Yeah? Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I glad to help out there. Anytime, anytime. No, you picked it up really quick. Um, like any like mistakes you were making with any part, like of where to go or you know using the brake or anything like that, next time fix it right around. So. All right. New hobby. That's a good start. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, anytime, man. Anytime. Uh, I'll grab you this little USB. We're, you were just doing this one though, right? Yeah. As far as driving. Okay, yeah. gotcha, man. So I'll grab you this thing here and then uh, uh, no rush. It's your next step to the video desk up there. But no okay. rush, man. Thank you. Yeah.